Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Tuesday morning. And today's topic is not every man wants a virtuous woman. Okay? I know this is going to be, this, this, this I'm going to just say this here. You know, some things I talk about is milk, meaning it's easy to digest. This particular topic is going to be more like meat because it's not going to be easy for everybody to digest because we all walk around thinking that every man looking for a good woman. And that is a common mistake that is made amongst women. Okay? Not every man wants a virtuous woman. Follow me. First of all, we have to understand exactly what a virtuous woman is. And if you go back and you watch my Proverbs 31 video on YouTube, you will see me break down what a virtuous woman is. But in the gist of it, a virtuous woman is a woman with high moral standards. Okay? When you're dealing with a woman that have high moral standards, a lot of times she's not going to compromise when it comes down to what she know to be right or wrong. Okay? It's certain things that we know is right, we know is wrong. For example, we know that when we have families, we have a responsibility to take care of them. A woman with high moral standards is not going to sit back and allow you to be foolish with the family's money and do what you want to do with it. And then the family is lacking in certain areas because your selfishness came before your family. Okay. A woman of virtue is not going to encourage you to do things that, that she knows is illegal, things that she knows is going to get you in trouble things that she know in the future is going to have you with uh, certain consequences that um, that you know you're not going to have to deal with. See, a virtuous woman, she's not going to encourage you to go hit that lick. No, she's going to encourage you to go get your ass a job. She's going to encourage you to go and do the right thing with it. She's going to encourage you, if you can't get a job, to go hire yourself and find something that somebody will pay you for. I don't care if it's cutting grass. I don't care if it's washing cars. I don't care what it is. But she's going to encourage you to do things the right way. She ain't going to encourage you to go in and hit a lick, breaking somebody's house, and then she going to help you sell the shit on Facebook. A virtuous woman ain't going to do that. But let me just explain to you that every man not looking for a virtuous woman. Okay? I know this man named John. I'm going to tell you this story. And this story is going to prove what I'm saying to be accurate. Okay? I know this man named John. And John was a man who came from a real rough background, okay? But at a certain point in John's life, he decided that he was going to straighten himself up. And during this point in, that he straightened himself up, he ended up meeting this woman, okay? And he ended up marrying this woman. And this woman was a virtuous woman. She was a woman of high moral standards, all right? Well, the thing is, in the beginning... When John became a homeowner, when he was getting up and going to a job every day and he was working and being able to have things out of life, really nice things out of life, he was enjoying it. But what John also realized was this was a lot of work and it was much easier to do things the illegal way, okay? So eventually John started reverting back to what he knew, which was doing things the wrong way, okay? Follow me. This started to bring conflict into John's home. John's wife eventually went on about her business because she couldn't handle it. Now, she stayed around for a little while, but then during that time, John realized that he really didn't want a wife. He wanted a hoe. So John would go out here in Baton Rouge, and, and I know some of y'all didn't, didn't ran into him, especially women. And he would walk up to women and he would say, is you a hoe? And the women would be like, no, because, you know, if you're asking a woman if she a hoe, a lot of times she would get offended, right? But John knew what he was looking for. See, he knew what he was looking for, all right? And he knew that if I get a woman that wants certain things out of life, that means that I'm going to have to do shit too to be able to keep this shit up, right? So it's a lot easier for me to go out there and get somebody who don't want shit. All right. So John was like, is you a hoe? 
And the women will be like, no, I ain't no hoe. He'll go somewhere else to another event, to another club. Is you a hoe? No, I ain't no hoe. Well, he ended up going to the trap. Y'all, I wish this was, I wish I was lying. I wish I was lying. But he ended up going to the trap and he ended up meeting this woman. And he say, is you a hoe? And she said, yeah, I'm a hoe. He said, well, shit, come on. Come on. Because we cannot be shit together. You really have men that are looking for women who really don't want much out of life. Because they know that they don't want much out of life either. And guess what? They cannot be shit together. But what happens is, a lot of times women who are virtuous women, we think that we can get these type of men and we think that we can change them. But I want to let you know something, sweetheart. You can't change nobody. If we had the power to change anybody, we would have been changing people a long time ago. And what we understand is we don't have the power to change nobody. And we definitely don't have the power to change. We don't have the power to save nobody's soul. So you can present them to the Lord, but baby, you can't even save their soul. You can bring them straight to your preacher and your preacher can't even save their soul. Because the only person that can save somebody's soul is God. And the only person that can bring on the change is that person has to want to bring on the change and allow God to come in and create the change within them. So I did this video on purpose because I want you to understand that not every man that you run into out there in the streets is looking for a virtuous woman. Some men are looking for women who don't who who really who really comfortable in their poverty mindset. Meaning they are looking for women who don't want to have to get a promotion on their job because they know if they get a promotion, that means all of these other benefits that they're getting, they ain't going to qualify for them no more. Do you know how many people I see complaining about um, the, the food stamp budget worksheet for the disaster food stamps? People like me don't qualify. A lot of people who got regular jobs, they don't qualify. But if you saw the standard that you had to meet in order to qualify, then you would understand that if this is the standard and in order for me to qualify, I got to have a household of four only making like $2,500 a month. Y'all, we know that ain't no money for a family of four. We know that that's not no money, but this is the most that a family of four can make. You got men out there who looking for women who don't want to do no better, who want to be able to hold on to their Section 8 because guess what? If she got Section 8, she got food stamps, she got Medicaid, that's less than I got. I ain't got to worry about doing. Shit, I ain't got to worry about buying no food because she qualified. I ain't got to worry about paying what, what we going to lay our head at because she qualified. And no, I ain't interested in marrying her because I guess what? I, I want her to keep being able to qualify. See, when you're dealing with a virtuous woman, a lot of times virtuous women, they want shit out of life. They, they want things. Okay, they have goals, aspirations, they striving. Most people, when they wake up and like they want to strive for something, but when you have people who wake up and they don't necessarily know, they ain't got no plan for their day, they don't know what's going on with their day, they don't know what's coming, what's going, they wake up at whatever time they want to roll over. They roll over whenever they feel like it. And guess what? When they roll over, if they want to hit them, if they want to do them some drugs, they do it if they got it available. If they want to get up and cook for their children, they do it if they feel like it. If they want to get up and comb their hair, they do it. And if they don't, they just throw a bonnet on it. You have people, men, who are out there specifically looking for these type of women. Because they know that these women ain't being productive and they ain't requiring nothing of themselves. So if she's not requiring nothing of herself, she's not requiring anything of her children, then I know damn well she ain't going to require nothing of me. If she don't require nothing of herself and her children, I know she ain't going to require nothing of me. And this is right where I want to be. I want to be right here where don't nobody require me to do nothing. I want to be right here where ain't nobody holding me accountable for nothing. I want to be right here to where I can smoke blunts all day, back to back to back to back to back, and she's smoking them with me, so neither one of us can tell each other shit about smoking. I want to be right here where I can go to the card party and gamble up all the money every weekend, and then I'm on the dice and she on the cards, and guess what? This is what we do. We, we do what we do together, and neither one of us going to tell each other shit because we both doing it. But see, when you get a virtuous woman, she a good steward. 
That means that anything God puts in her hands, she's going to take care of it. Whether it be her husband, her children, her finances, her household, her business, the people who are around her that she that, that she taking care of or that she nurturing or whatever, she understands that anything God puts in her hands, she has an obligation to take care of it. And Lord knows, don't let her have a calling on her life and let her be a vessel. She understands the importance of maintaining her walk with God. Meaning that even when everybody out there doing whatever, she still has to do, she still has to move in a certain type of way. Yeah. Because see, when you got a calling on your life, you already know God got you. So you ain't got to go out there and do what everybody else doing because you're a virtuous woman. And you stand on that. And you're not compromising on that. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to encourage some of you all today to understand that sometimes when you're meeting people in life, not everybody want what you want. Not every man wants a virtuous woman. And not every woman wants a righteous man. A righteous man, God-fearing man, a man that's going to get up every Sunday and uh, get his family up and go to church. I remember when my mama was dating this man, y'all, he was a righteous man. My mama was more of a street type of woman. Y'all, this man... His name was Honoré. Honoré was the best thing that could have ever happened to my mama. And I was like, Lord, please let her marry him. This man is bringing so much stability to our life. This man is bringing so much growth into our household. This man is a really good, God-fearing man. And my mama didn't want it. She didn't want to have to, you know, because he required certain things. He wanted his family to go to Bible study midweek. And my mama was like, I ain't going to fucking Bible study midweek. This man wanted his family to get up and go to church with him. And my mom was like, I've been partying all night long. I'm not getting up and going to no damn church. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is not every woman will even want a righteous man. And I didn't see this for myself and my own mother. She did not want a righteous man. She wanted a certain type of man, but not a righteous one. Not that was going to require her to have to do something. Oh, no, no, you go. You go pray for the family. You go do it. I don't want to go do it. Yeah. And eventually she found a man that would go to church and leave her in the bed. She, you know, she found what she wanted. But understand this. Not every man wants a virtuous woman. Not every woman wants a righteous man. When you're dealing with righteous men, it's certain standards. It's going to be a standard is going to be there. When you're dealing with a virtuous woman, a standard is going to be there. There will be a standard. And that will also be elevation throughout the process, meaning that these people are going to go higher. Yeah. And the problem comes about when you're trying to go higher and the other person like, I don't want to go higher. I'm good where I'm at. I don't want to excel. I'm good where I'm at. I'm complacent. I don't want to do nothing. No. So that concludes my video for today. This is not a product-based video. This is more of one of the life lessons types of videos. I am here at the store. The store opens today. We'll be here from 11 to 7. Uh, next week, we'll get back to our regular program with our 11 to 9. Uh, Amber will be coming back to work. Um, thank God, everybody that I know, they have their lights on now. So we're just basically trying to get back into the swing of things um, here at the PPG store. All of you all that wish Taylor a happy birthday, we thank you. Um, all of you all that took advantage of the $5 kangaroo sale online, I'm about to get y'all orders out. <laughs> so I'm here, I'm working. If you want to come see me and come shop while I'm here, I am here. So you all be blessed. You all enjoy your Tuesday.